Hi friends, welcome back. Guess what? I have some more wonderful news to share with you guys. I am also partnering with Inner Traditions Bear and Company Publishers. And uh, they're a wonderful uh, small company, but they have a lot of great stuff. They have tarot, they have astrology, they have all kind of body, mind, spirit things um, that you could want. And uh, I'm here to show off some of their stuff. And I'm very excited, very excited because look what they sent me. Chakra cards for belief change. Okay, now you know your girl loves some chakra business. Yes, I do. Um, in the Healing Insight Method by Nikki Gresham Record. I love it, love it, love it. I will be linking down below uh, Inner Traditions Bear and Company where you can find this deck and lots more. Um, they have also sent me a book for re review, which is chakra based, that I am loving. But anyway, let's get into the cards here. So here's the back. So you can see kind of what the cards look like. So it looks like there's a photo on the front or a picture on the front and then writing on the back. Uh, what it says here is um, create the reality you desire by changing your outdated beliefs. Now, I am all about this. Um, I have recently started working on um, changing my limited beliefs, considering what is coming in the future. Um, those are some things that I want to undo because a lot of them, a lot of your um, belief systems are taught to you when you're young. And so you're pre-programmed with, with a lot of things that, you know, as you age and get older, <clears throat> don't always serve you as well as they might have when you were younger and times change and things are different. So yeah, I'm, I like that. Um, inspired by the healing insight method, this deck offers 56 cards with a variety of positive chakra oriented beliefs that will help raise your vibration and steer your mind toward healthy, affirming thoughts feelings, and experiences. Each chakra is represented by a main chakra image along with seven chakra aspects, which affirm potent qualities that we all are able to access when balanced and in harmony within ourselves. The accompanying booklet explains the healing insight method and provides for each card an interpretation and suggested action to work with. I am so excited. Uh, used for inspiration or as a tool for therapeutic guidance, the cards highlight where you need to focus in order to turn challenges into growth experiences. When ready to move beyond what is, the chakra cards can be used to create actual vibrational alignment with beliefs of your choosing, reprogramming, and subconscious mind for good. These sound so juicy. Okay. So it does not have the cutouts on the side. So I can see getting into the box is going to be an issue. Usually if you shake the box like this, it kind of comes out. But this is not coming out. So this is a tight ass box. Um, okay. Well. Kudos for packaging, um, <clears throat> but ooh, I actually, ah, wow, okay. <laughs> mm, all right, this is a hell of a box, let me tell you. It's a great box. It is an extremely tight fit. Um, I actually had to push my thumb up underneath here to get the box open. So just keep that in mind. Um, but here's what's on the inside. So we have the book and then we have the cards. 
So, oh, look at that little chunky chunk. Little chunky chunk. We got 159 pages. So I love that. 159 pages. Working with the chakra cards, muscle, muscle testing belief programs. Mm. Introduction to the healing insight method. So that's good. And then it's got all your chakra cards and their aspect cards with them. So uh, six steps. Six steps to follow for the healing insight method. And I am, ooh, very interesting. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it is because you need to get the book. But um, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. So it, it shows like, um, so this is an aspect of the sacral sacral chakra aspect emotions and then it shows the card black and white the uh artwork and then what it says on the back and then it has a write-up on uh on these two pages and it appears to be the same for everything Except the main the main card has a couple extra pages. So if you get like the the solar plexus chakra itself, it shows you that, and then you get more information with with the main card. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay, let's have a look at these cards. Oh, okay. I can already tell you these are nice cards. Nice card stock. Um, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Okay, so here we go. All right, so it's pretty good cardstock, definitely. Um, it's, it's not real thick, but it's thick enough that um, it'll work really well. It'll be, um, I think it'll be, you know, sturdy for a while, sure. So here's our first one, and it's the, the root chakra, Mudalahara. And then on the back, there is, it has something to say about this. So it says, you are of the earth as you are of heaven. Allow the greatest mother of all to support and nourish you. You are provided for in all ways. You are safe. So those are, those are great affirmations. Those are great affirmations. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the book and I'm going to see what the book has to say about the root chakra here, the main card. Um, so it has an action. It talks about... Um, it talks about what it says on the back. Remember to give back as much as you take and nurture Gaia, our great mother. Our bodies are nourished directly from our connection to the earth. So it's how we identify with the root chakra. And then it has action. And so I think this is action you can take to maybe strengthen your, your root chakra. Uh, walk upon the earth to help ground and connect. I love that. That's one of my favorite things. Um, gentle and wise elephant representing power and strength and the focused grounded snake are the root chakra spirit animals to aid our connection to the earthly plane. Well, that's awesome because I love elephants. It says... Um, Imagine being these animals to help you connect with those qualities. Nice. Um, we can acknowledge all that we already have. And it says, uh, use your body as the gift to harness your greatness. I love that. And then it also says here, points of reflection. So there's some questions here like, is there more that you can personally do to support your earthly vessel or indeed the earth itself? 
Um, do you feel stable, safe, untethered by life? Or could you benefit from gathering or fueling your own energy and resources? So great questions to, to ask. And it looks like each of the root chakra's aspects also have an action to go along with it. So um, that, is, that is lovely. Um, I love it. I, I love this so far. So far, so good. Um, oh, yes. And see, you can even see that um, I didn't take the time on this, but Ganesh, Lord Ganesh is on the front as, as well as a wolf friend. And we have the elephant down here and we have the snake over here. So that's cool. Um, all right. So here we go. Root chakra. It is the earth element, and its sound is lam, and it's grounding on the back, and there are some affirmations back here, and I am, is that grounded? I am earthed. I am earthed. So these are great cards for building, um, building your chakras. If you have a chakra that's out of balance, this is a great way to tap in and, and get that get that flow going again. Or rather, I should say, get the flow going again from root to crown. So that's awesome. Uh, natural world. And it looks like all the... Um, so we have the initial card here. And it looks like the aspects are <laughs> just done in the color of the chakra. Um, yeah, so now we have natural world and on the back it says, I belong and we have capability. Oops. I am strong. Stability is the next one. And that's I am supported. Abundance, I have. That's my favorite. I have. So then we have physical body. I exist. I exist. And we have safety, which is I am safe. Great cards. Great cards. All right, let's go on to, we've got the sacral. Um, and I'm awful at pronouncing these, so I'm not going to. <laughs> and this has all the wonderful things about the sacral chakra. And we have letting go. I release. Emotions. I feel. I use I feel a lot. Uh, potential. Potential is all is possible ooh self worth self worth i nurture and creativity i flow i flow these are beautiful ooh. oh there's more <laughs> i thought i grabbed all of them i didn't instinct i sense and sensuality I experience pleasure okay so solar plexus chakra and of course all about the solar plexus the affirmations and then aspects are authentic power I co-create my reality courage I am possible individuation i follow my own path greatness i am wonderful boundaries i stand my ground oh i love these free will i always have a choice 
four, get goosebump doobies. Autonomy. I am a limitless being. Oh my goodness, I love these cards. These are fantastic affirmations. Oh, I could use these every day. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Our heart chakra. Here's our heart chakra. Loving relationships. I choose to love. Openness. I give. Forgiveness. I forgive. Gratitude. I am grateful. That's a daily practice with me. I am grateful. I am grateful for so many things. Harmony. I am balanced. Ease and grace. I flow gently and easily. And lastly, compassion. I am compassionate. Wonderful heart chakra. Wonderful. All right, throat chakra coming up, folks. Finding your voice. So here we have the throat chakra. And again, the, um, the affirmations for the main card. And then we have self-expression. I speak up. Communication. I collaborate and cooperate. Freedom. I heal. Wow, that's a good one. Transmutation. I transform. Clarity. I have clarity. Truth. I express my truth. Space. I have space. These are just wonderful. These are deeper than any other chakra cards I have found. And I have a lot of chakra decks. But these are, are wonderful and they have affirmations here that I have never seen before. So, I'm very excited for this. All right, here's our third eye and our, um, thank you. Okay, door. Thank you. You're welcome. I just, okay. I just had food delivered. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's my dinner. <laughs> anyway, here is our crown chakra. We have protection. All is perfect just as it is. Wow, that's a hard one for a lot of people to get over. We have purity. My intention is pure. Intuition. I am guided. Healing. I am harmonious. Peace of mind. I am peaceful. Psychic awareness. I am psychic. Unity. I unite. Oh! Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get into these. We're going on our last one, which is the crown chakra here. These cards are gorgeous. The colors are amazing. So there is our crown chakra main card. Then we have possibility. All is possible. Connection. I am always connected. Divine will. I allow the unfolding. Integrity. I have integrity. Knowing, I am wise. Consciousness, I am conscious. And lastly, we, 
We are one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, I got to tell you, this deck is absolutely giving me all the feels. I cannot wait to dive further into the insight method and how to use this deck. Um, chakra cards for belief change. I think this is absolutely amazing. This is the best looking uh, chakra deck that I have uh, to, to date. So, um, yeah, I say head down to the link below and go get yourself uh, these cards because, um, man, powerful affirmations. I'm just loving everything they have to say, the actions to take to support the chakra that you're working with good stuff here good stuff so again thank you inner traditions and um guys these are awesome cards go get them all right sending you so much love and i will see you on the next one